The Department of Public Health and Human Services is pleased to bring you Aging Horizons. Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, Fraud, Legal Issues, Veterans Benefits and Caregiving. Aging Horizons is a program dedicated to inform and prepare Montanans on these timely issues, making a difference to you and your loved ones. Here now is today's program host. Hi folks and welcome to Aging Horizons. On today's show we'll be talking about Medicare. Of course, first we'll go over the ABCDs of it, uh, what those premiums are, but we'll also talk about some special programs that are available to individuals if you qualify, which will help pay those premiums. But we'll also talk about uh, how you can have preventative services as a part of your Medicare coverage. Great info, stay tuned, we'll be right back. I don't think a nursing home is a place for anyone when they have a choice of staying in their own home. If you can find people that are willing to help you, you might still be able to stay at home. I wouldn't be where I'm at if it wasn't for people like Johnny. That's what home care is all about, is having people that are willing to help me. It's just people helping people. I've been shooting since I was young. It's something I've always enjoyed. I wasn't feeling like myself, but my friend noticed. He asked if he could hold onto my guns temporarily. At first, I was a little shocked. But then I agreed. I think he saved my life that day. In Montana, we know all about responsibility and personal accountability. Don't pay another medical bill that you don't understand. Take charge. Review your medical bills and call your provider right away if you have questions. If your bills are too confusing, call Montana SMP, the Senior Medicare Patrol. Call 800-551-3191 and get connected directly to a local office. Call Montana SMP today. Every 65 seconds, someone is affected with Alzheimer's or other dementias. Many become isolated at a time when help is most needed. If you or someone you love is affected, help is available, both for people with memory loss and their caregivers. Memory loss can feel frightening, but you are not alone. Call the free 24-7 Alzheimer's Association helpline, 800-272-3900, for guidance and support. Hi folks, welcome to Aging Horizons. I'm Brian Lamore. The show is brought to you by the Department of Public Health and Human Services, Aging Services. Of course, today we're going to be talking about Medicare again, and we always like to start with the basics, the ABCDs. So we brought in a, an excellent guest and host of Aging Horizons, <laughs> Kimmy Everman. You're a program specialist with uh, Senior and Long-Term Care. That's right. You're the Medicare person that knows everything if we have a question. Well, one of them. One of them, yes. <laughs> because let me just say right off the bat, those are the ship counselors yes. that are the, the people that can really answer those questions, but mm -hmm. we'll get to that. But you're answering them now. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yep, exactly. Well, let's start at the top. Medicare, people know the, the name. They know it's different than Medicaid, but Medicare has ABCD. Mm -hmm. Tell us the ABCDs and how they are uh, reimbursed. Sure. You know, Medicare is, because you're right, a lot of people do get those Medicare, Medicaid things uh, mixed up. Medicare is a federal health insurance that a person receives at age 65 when they have worked um, uh, a total of 40 work credits, which is a, a full-time job for 10 years here, there, everywhere. It doesn't have to be in, in a row. Yeah. Um, and that's what you are going to get um, once you retire or at 65, whichever comes first. Or, well, no, not whichever <laughs> comes first, at 65. Uh, it's A, B, C, D, as you said. A is your hospital insurance, and that comes covers when you have to go do a surgery or something to that effect. Part B is your outpatient services, and that has um, a deductible and then a monthly, uh, sort of a co-payment or premium, you can call it, uh, and that is used when you go to the doctor. Get, you know, get testing done, that kind of thing. Um, part C is what we refer to uh, the Medicare Advantage plans or what are also known as Medicare Health Plans. 
and um, you know Brian we've talked about those on this show so many times mm -hmm. but they remain a source of a little bit of confusion a Medicare Advantage plan brings your A services your B services services for your prescription drugs all into one place or company or um, organization mm -hmm. and they are usually a well they're a private organization um, who's kind of in the middle you know here's you as the beneficiary and the Medicare Advantage plan is sort of taking care of everything for CMS which yeah. is Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services mm -hmm. um, and those uh, plans often have things like maybe a health club manager membership or uh, some dental, something like that. And then Part D is our prescription drug coverage. Uh, the newest piece or benefit to our Medicare uh, cadre, um, <laughs> love it, so glad we have it. Um, and it is uh, so that everybody that's on Medicare has good, affordable access to medication. Medication. And what are the reimbursement sources for this? You have uh, Medicare is A, B, and D. Uh, Part C is private sector, but they'll cover right. A, B, and D right. and do additional services, but how do these get reimbursed? How do I, sure. as a person on Medicare, pay for each of those? Sure. Uh, all right. So your Part A, your uh, catastrophic or hospital, comes to you at no cost mm -hmm. because you've paid into the system for many years through your work. You get that at no premium every month. Mm -hmm. um, let me just add that if you haven't worked a full 10 years, work with Social Security and they'll find a way to get you Part A at a, a low, a pr there's a price, yeah. but believe me, it's lower than anything you might find out there. So mm -hmm. that's a, a little thing to know. Um, at Part B, as I said earlier, it's got a deductible one time a year, and that uh, in 2019 is $185. And then there is a premium each month, um, and that is uh, paid for by that beneficiary. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, the easiest uh, way is to have it automatically taken out of their check. Yeah. And, um, and that check comes out of Social Security. Exactly, okay. yes, exactly. And uh, that uh, premium is 135.50 in 2019. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, the Part C, you're going to be charged some sort of premium that that company decides on. And yes, you get all those services based on whatever the premium is mm -hmm. and uh, what services they have. And then Part D, which is your uh, prescription drug, um, you're going to pay for that out of pocket as well as a beneficiary, um, the premium. And again, that can come out of your bank account on a regular basis so you don't have to write a check every right. time. Okay. But now, so a lot of that comes out of Medicare or your bank account, but there are people that need a little extra help, and we have a couple programs there. Right. Um, the first one that I want to mention is the Medicare Savings Program. And that p covers that Part B cost. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're eligible, you you could have that deductible paid. You could have your monthly premium paid. Um, there are several levels in that program. So if you make a little more than someone else, you might still be eligible. Mm -hmm. Still be eligible. Mm -hmm. And then there's one more, too. It's the uh, Medicare Savings, right? Right. Well, that oh, was that, well, the that, Medicare. That was it. Yes, that was the Medicare low Savings. Income subsidy. And the other one, yes, is the low income subsidy for your Part D, uh, the, the drugs, premiums, co-pays, that sort of thing. And the best people to help with that shift is counselors. your shift counselor. You we bet. got their number on the screen. Let's do so it. So you can call them up. They're throughout the state. They don't have anything to sell you. They're right. just there to help you, right? Right, exactly. And they know this stuff like the back of their hand. The back of their hand. Yep. So there's a lot of help. And recently, I'm going to be eligible this year, uh, the Area Agency on Aging, Area 4, had a meeting for people to get on Medicare, and uh, I attended, and I got a lot of good information, uh, but I did stump them with a few questions because <laughs> <laughs> we talked so much. I don't doubt that. <laughs> good. Yeah. Well, we're drawing to a close on the first segment here, but we've got a lot more information for you. We just kind of started out with the basics, so you know the language uh, and the background for each of the parts. In our next segments, we'll be talking more about uh, the programs that can help you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Are you looking for a helping hand through the maze of human services or for information on government programs and benefits that you may qualify for? The Information and Assistance Program provides information on all programs that meet our aging population's basic needs and programs that enhance their lives as well as the lives of their families or caregivers. If you have questions about Medicaid, Medicare, or other services and programs, please call 1-800-551-3191. Every generation produces heroes, men and women who step forward to defend our country in time of need, no matter the personal cost to themselves. And though we can never fully repay them, we can make sure they have access to low-cost, long-term care when they need it. That's what Montana's Veterans Homes are all about. If you've got a hero in need in your family, call us. We can help. I take care of my wife at home. When I found out training was available, I said, sign me up. It's made a huge difference. When my husband was injured at work, it was life altering. The class has taught me that it's okay to grieve, to ask for help, and to better cope as a caregiver. My dad lives four hours away, and the Powerful Tools class has taught me that it's okay to ask for help. I highly recommend them. To find out about this course for caregivers, go to PowerfulToolsForCaregivers.org. It's amazing the difference a little training can make. I think the most pleasant surprise when we turned 65 and signed up for Medicare Part B was finding out about our Welcome to Medicare preventive visit. It was free, and it gave us the opportunity to visit with our doctors and establish a plan for our health going forward. They reviewed our medical history, measured our height, weight, blood pressure, and counseled us on other risk factors. To learn more about Medicare's free or low-cost preventive and wellness benefits, call your local SHIP counselor at 800-551-3191. I mentioned it's free, right? Twice. Hi folks, welcome back to Aging Horizons. I'm your host Brian Lamore. We're continuing our discussion about Medicare. And in this segment, we're gonna particularly focus in on some financial health programs that are available to individuals. There are certain conditions to be met and there are certain limitations that they pay for. We'll go over those, but we wanna emphasize your SHIP counselors throughout the state uh, are there to help you. If you have any questions uh, getting on to Medicaid or uh, Medicare, or if you have questions about what is being paid, they're the ones to help you. Joining us is Kimmy Eberman, and uh, tell us more about the financial help programs. There's three of them, aren't there? There are, and you know, we started uh, last segment talking about the Medicare Savings Program, mm -hmm. and that pays uh, Part B uh, expenses. Then we also have the Low Income Subsidy, and that's known by a few names, Brian. Mm -hmm. LIS, Extra Help, Low Income Subsidy. You may know it by any one of those names, yeah. but at the end of the day, it helps folks uh, afford their medicine on Medicare. Mm -hmm. uh, and then finally, we have a really wonderful, what I like to refer to as a homegrown uh, program here in Montana called the Big Sky RX. Mm -hmm. And they are um, a wonderful program in that one, they don't care about your assets. So if you have a boat and a car and a, a lake home or something, <laughs> that's okay. What, what they recognize is that people that are on fixed incomes have a lower cash in, you know, yeah. influx. They may have all kinds of assets. That doesn't mean anything when you have to pay a bill. Yeah. Uh, so the program is for folks that uh, make slightly more mm -hmm. than some of our other programs. Um, and and it pays just the premium each month, but for a Part D premium uh, that might run thirty to fifty dollars somewhere in there at yeah. any given year, that's a that's, that's a, a nice account. chunk of money to keep in your in your checking account if you yes. don't have to put it out. Yeah. Well, how do people find out about these three programs? I mean, is somehow through the computer systems that they might identify that you could be eligible, or is this something if you don't know about it and you don't apply for it, you don't get it? Well, not necessarily. I mean, some of our folks, for instance, uh, we have folks that we, we refer to as dual eligible people mm -hmm. who have Medicare and Medicaid. Yeah. They're pretty much automatically going to be uh, el eligible because they're in that right uh, economic range. Yeah. Uh, but others have to sign up and 
call your ship counselor. I, I yeah. can't stress that enough. They're so uh, knowledgeable about all this. Yeah. Now, certainly, if you want to go online and Google it up for Montana, yeah. that's fine too. I, you don't you don't have to have someone else do it for you, but it can be pretty daunting. <laughs> yes. And using our ship counselors is a a way of taking that overwhelmed feeling off of you yeah. because they can really explain it so well. Exactly. And sometimes people go in and they say, well, I'm not eligible for this program. Why bother with the rest? Well, you should. Yeah. Yes. And I want, I'm want. i glad you said that, Brian, because that's why I ne when, when we're on uh, the show, I never give numbers mm -hmm. because I don't want people to think, oh, well, uh, I, I make more than that yeah. or something. I want them to go and be evaluated. And that's what uh, yeah. an eligibility worker at Medicaid is going to do mm -hmm. for them. So I, I'd say try it. The worst that can happen is it won't you won't be eligible. But, you know, an important aspect of that, all these uh, ship counselors are with area agencies on aging. Right. And the area agency has a number of programs that you can be available to. It's separate from Medicare and everything. Right. But uh, you can be eligible for them, and you need to take advantage of them because, really, you paid for them throughout the Absolutely. Your life. You worked hard and gave to your community. Mm -hmm. And you're right. Our area agencies are, they're, they're unsung heroes. Yes. And I'm so glad that our ship counselors are based there because as you say you walk in there there's lots of things yeah well let's talk a little bit more about the three different programs okay. you know we have the Medicare savings low-income subsidy and the big sky RX now I know that the Medicare savings is for part B right, right and right. low income is for part D big sky and is for part D, D also. so Drug let's covered. yeah so we've pretty well covered Medicare savings mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about the extra help for part D yeah. if you're eligible for that uh, it pays your monthly premium up to a benchmark uh, that is set each month, uh, or sorry, excuse me, annually. Uh, it, it, you know, depending on what level you're eligible for, and there are several levels, um, you may get um, no deductible, you may have no premium every month, um, you may have a drug price at the f pharmacy counter that's much lower than you might expect, yeah. all because of the low income subsidy uh, uh, program. It helps with that, and one of the great things about it is that there are levels, because because if you make a little more, yeah. maybe than 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 the the you know the starting level, you can still get some help. Yeah. And you know what what we always say is that is fifty, sixty, whatever dollars that can stay in your check or checking account. Yeah. And you can pay for your heat. You can pay for food. Yeah. You can buy a birthday gift for a <laughs> grandchild. Exactly. Well, now. Uh, we're about down to a minute, and let's uh, go quickly go over what, if someone, if I was to call a ship counselor, what should I have before I call so that it can make, uh, so that the call can go more efficiently? Well, if you've never signed up for a Part D plan or a Part B or, or, or any of these, you want to have your Medicare card. You want to have um, it, it, all the medications that you take sitting in front of you. Um, you just want to have anything that has to do with your health care kind of in front of you, and that Medicare card is real important mm -hmm. because the ship counselor is going to need the information on that to be able to help you figure out what's the next best step. And, and where to go. That's right. great. Exactly. Okay. Well, we've drawn to a close so quickly, but mm -hmm. we have another segment to go. Yay. And, you know, for our viewers, again, we're talking about some of the special help programs that are available to individuals who qualify. We have three separate programs. You can go to the uh, area, uh, the state of Montana website, uh, Aging Services, and get that information, or you can call a ship counselor. They know it all right off the cuff. They'll answer your question quickly and efficiently, and will sign you up appropriately. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. It was a beautiful day. There was about two square feet of ice near the door, which I slid on and fell, cracking one rib. And I became somewhat frightening for me to walk outside, particularly in the winter. The Stepping On program came as kind of a surprise to me. I didn't know about it. I've learned the importance of proper balance. I think anybody uh, who has fallen or is afraid of falling would benefit from this program. Three thousand pound walrus, good insulation. Ten pound sphinx cat, bad insulation. 
puffed up cardinal? Good insulation. Naked mole rat? Oh, bad insulation. If your home's insulation isn't all that it could be, the Low Income Energy Assistance Program may be able to help. Call today. You just might be eligible for weatherization assistance. And that could make your nest a little cozier. Cover your mouth or your ears. Now use the telephone. For people who are deaf, hard of hearing, deaf, blind, or speech disabled, your state's relay makes it possible. Anyone who uses a standard phone can talk with this important consumer population. With relay, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible for you to talk to me, for me to talk to you. It's possible. Dial 711 to use your state's relay. It's been 27 years. I never thought I'd still be smoking, but here I am, COPD and all. I'm about to have a granddaughter. There's so much to show her, but I'm scared I won't be able to keep up like I used to. I kind of gave up on myself on quitting, but it's different now. I want to be here for her and for my daughter. Welcome back to Aging Horizons. I'm your host, Brian Lamore. We're continuing our discussion about Medicare. And one of the important things is that every year there's an annual checkup. And when you first sign up for uh, Medicare, there's a welcome to Medicare checkup, which is a little more extensive than your usual annual one. But Kimmy, tell us more. The annual checkup or the wellness checkup, uh, uh, what do they do and why is that important? Well, I, I guess I, I want to back up just for a minute and <laughs> say, uh, as you know, if you've, if you've watched the this show for a long time, you know that I've worked with Medicare for a long time, and I've seen them come to this point where they are being proactive yes. instead of reactive. And that's what these preventive and annual visits are all about. Let's be proactive. Um, not only is it better for the patient, but we save money that way. Yes. And we have more benefits if we do so. And you live longer. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Line. I mean, I hate to bring it back to money all the time, but that is the truth. Yes. Um, but I, I do say also that there's so many things that are checked in these visits that it really Really, it would be helpful for a person to find out early. Yes. Um, so the the welcome to Medicare, it's called the Welcome to Medicare Preventive Visit, and it's uh, one of these sort of talking uh, appointments that you would have with a doctor. Uh, it's um, covered under Part. B, so it's not anything, and and you can have it prior to meeting your your annual deductible for Part uh -huh. B. So you don't pay for this uh -huh. unless something comes up in the visit that that maybe is, uh -huh. you know, off off uh, that and into something else. Mm -hmm. But they're going to look at height, weight, uh, blood pressure, body mass. Uh, they're going to want to talk about your medical and your social history, mm -hmm. both very important important um, meshing together, your potential for depression and mm -hmm. other mental health conditions. What we know is that as we age, we uh, sometimes get very depressed. We've lost so many people oh. in our lives. We may be sick. Um, just many, many things. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, um, I personally hope that that's a, a place for somebody to be able to bring that up yeah. to their doctor. Um, they are going to look at your ability to function safely in your home. I mean, wouldn't it be great if you knew in advance that all those dumb little rugs <laughs> that yeah. your, your mom threw around that we, everybody tripped on, if we could pick yeah. those up, we could live there safely two years longer. Who wouldn't yeah. want to do that? Yeah. So yeah. you I do had, that. I had an aunt fall and break her femur. She was in a nursing home for three days yep. or three months. It's yep. like, and why was it there? It's, yep. it's a hazard. Exactly. <laughs> Um, you're going to get an education, counseling, referrals, you know, based on whatever your risk factors are. Um, and really, it's just, it's it's not a head-to-toe, you know, yeah. hit-your-knee kind of a physical, but it's a talking, it's a time for you to meet and consult with that doctor and let them get a full idea mm -hmm 
for a baseline. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, in in the following year, then after twelve months, you're going to go to your annual wellness visit. Mm -hmm. It's a rehash and a revisit of all of these things, um, and it's again to make sure that if there's anything advancing uh, or anything that's shown up in a year's time, that we can get a uh, get to that quickly, and so that person, if at all possible, can live. Can live live longer. I've had yeah. a number of friends recently same thing suddenly they're very sick and there's the end and they didn't know what was wrong or didn't have any uh, indicators right and that's the purpose of this get the baseline make sure you're okay because it's really good for you but it's good for the program because if they can head something off right. it brings the medical costs down absolutely and you know <laughs> we all want Medicare to be there for as yes. long as we need it. Yes. And so being better stewards of our money in this regard is very important. Um, and, you know, I, I also think that as we age, we, we do need to admit that our, we, we start to fail a little bit mm -hmm. here and there. And this kind of thing helps point that out before it's an emergency or before there's something that must be done immediately. You can yeah. plan. Or all these things come together and it's a cascading effect. Exactly. But now an important part of this is uh, the help programs that right. are available for people and in particular we got the Big Sky RX and mm -hmm. that's a state uh, program we decided to do that through the legislature exactly it's very important but we have two others too. tell us more right we have the Medicare savings program for Part B mm -hmm. um, pays that premium the deductible um, whatever and there's levels um, that you might be eligible for. There's also the LIS, the low income subsidy, and that's for part D as in drugs. Uh, and it's going to help a person who's eligible with their premium of their drug plan, with the deductible, with the co-pays, um, just to help them be, uh, have easier access to mm -hmm. the um, the medication, and of course, as you said, Big Sky RX also is going to pay that premium each month, mm -hmm. and it is fabulous uh, because it's for people who have a tiny bit more and aren't usually eligible for things. Mm -hmm. And that's why we really want people to definitely, if you think you're eligible, try. Try it. Try it out. Yep. Now, we have three programs. Is it possible that a person could be eligible for all three? Uh, yes. Now, the Big Sky RX with the other two isn't very often, but yeah. you can definitely be eligible for Medicare savings as well as the low income sure. subsidy because their eligibility criteria is very close. Nice close. But now let's talk about the people that will help you Indeed. make the decisions. Yes. This does seem complex uh, to a person first coming into it, but why is a shipping counselor so important for a person? Well, for one thing, they're going to help <clears throat> you feel less overwhelmed because they've done the sort of work so many times for so many folks that it doesn't overwhelm them anymore. Right. They model calmness, compassion. They're, they're the greatest advocates. You can ask questions. You feel comfortable mm -hmm. immediately. They are just the best That's way to get this done. Do that. Well, I'm signing up for Medicare this year. All before, right. I'm going to put it all together myself. And before I do it, I'm going to talk to one of them. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> idea. Well, thank you, Kimmy, for coming in and educating us on Certainly. that. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in for Aging Horizon. I'm Brian Lamore. See you next time. Special thanks to the Department of Public Health and Human Services for their continued support. Hosts on Aging Horizons are program specialists at the Montana Office on Aging. Production facilities provided by Video Express Productions. For more information about Aging Horizons, call the Department of Public Health and Human Services toll-free at 800-332-2272.